What's going on, everybody? This is NFL Turf Talk live on DSM Media, coming to you on exclusively on our YouTube channel for the very first time. I am one half of your host, Dylan Davis. You can find me on Twitter at DylanJD98. And to my right, my man, Scotty. Catch him on Twitter at Scotty Drowned. And my man, we have a fun division yes. to get into. Uh, how are we doing today? I'm doing good, man. I'm I'm doing a lot better than earlier. I'm sure you are yeah. as well. <laughs> We're just wrapping up our NFC East episode here, so just following up with our NFC East fantasy draft, which is always my favorite. Ah, is it my favorite part of the show? I don't know. I, I love it's up I love there ranking the teams too, but this this is up there. It's one of my favorite segments. It is. So I'm feeling good this Sunday evening. And I'm ready to get it in, my man. It is, man. And and like we discussed earlier when breaking down these uh, four teams is we understand and we're more in depth with this division out of every other division yeah. in the league. So this draft should be interesting. Um, it'll be interesting to see where you might have a couple guys defensively ranked as to where yeah. I could because there's a lot of talent, especially in the front seven, um, yeah. as we had talked about Very before. True. And then also – um looking for an advantage. So this is this is what we do here in the divisional draft. So uh, each of us have a quarterback, running back, two receivers, tight end, defensive line, two backers, two safeties, two corners. And we're going to take turns, snake-style draft, um, kind of like fantasy football basically, but just not in terms of fantasy numbers, just in terms of overall talent and who can put together the better team. Now I forget, do you have first pick this week or do I? I think you have first pick this. Do I? Week. I, had, right. I had first pick first pick last week because I think I took Josh Allen. Right. Right. Okay. So th this part's this this first pick well, interesting, man. <laughs> it's tough. I, I was thinking wh who I would pick if I was going first, and I'm not 100 percent sure. No, neither am I. Um, the thing with Dak, right? I know that's what, that's one that of my options. Better? Right. I know. But, but so, sure. so I'll I'll let you in on where my thought process here is. Do yeah. I get the quarterback? Because you're right. Norm in a division where we have a top dog in quarterback and then the next three are way down here, you yeah. get that advantage with quarterback, right? And yeah. that's where we saw all the feedback come in. Well, you know, you had Rodgers and whoever at Kirk Cousins was like, oh, well, that team loses, right? Yeah. But here yeah. it's like, do I go Dak over, let's say, Hurts? Or do I look defensively? Like wide receivers, you're not going to have much of an edge. You're talking yeah. CeeDee Lamb, A.J. Brown, uh, Terry McLaurin. That doesn't really matter. Running backs, yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, is, Mika Parsons, is Mika Parsons the best defensive player in the division? Is Chase Young in that conversation? <laughs> like this is a difficult part. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you decide oh. on that maybe. I'm going to take Dak. Okay. I, I respect it. I, I just it. don't. I just don't see too much of a drop off in terms of defensive talent with the top guys. I hear you, and man, you know, I feel so foolish right now because I, in my head, I was sitting here like, you know, who I'm going to draft? I'm going to draft Jason Kelsey, and uh, <laughs> we don't have offensive linemen. Uh, no, I, I don't know why my mind gravitated no, to Jason Kelsey first, but I just looked at that as like one of the advantages. Of, we probably, we probably, in hindsight, we probably could have added that into the roster. Maybe uh, it would get really this. difficult in the other divisions. That would get yeah. really difficult. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> I yeah. don't know. I don't know why my mind went there. Um, so who are you? Who, who do you like? Hmm. This this part's interesting. I feel like it has to be a defensive player, right? I don't know. Does it? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. See, and then there's, there's there's some things where it's like that's just my opinion. You know what I mean? Right. Like, well, that's I what I was saying earlier. Advantage, but it'll be interesting. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Like, let's say you go Parsons here, which I'm not going to say no, but like I'm going to take my. I'm just right. I, while you're sitting there, I'm right. going to take Mika Parsons. Just I know. Go with that. If you, I was trying to talk you out of it. If you weren't going there, that's exactly <laughs> where I was going. Um, I'm going to turn around then, and I'm going to take Chase Young. Okay. Fair enough. By the way, this is all healthy. There, there's no, oh, well, yeah. he's out right now. This is all assuming everybody's healthy. Who's the best players? Let me, oh, man, let me get, let me get Javon Hargrave. Oh, okay. See, like, that's interesting to me. 
Yeah, it, it was really the defensive tackle. I looked through the rest of the division, and like, don't get me wrong, there's other good defensive tackles for mm-hmm. sure. I just, I think I like him overwhelmingly more than the others. I don't know. Dexter Lawrence is really good. No, I feel you. Jonathan Allen's really good as well. Yep. You know what? <laughs> oh, this, this is tough, man. Do you, who's better, Demarcus Lawrence or Montez Sweat? Or Hassan Reddick. Is he considered a backer though? Uh, yeah, is, like he, oh. yeah, he's considered a backer. Oh, he's a backer. I got you. You're looking for it. Yeah, I got yeah. you. Ah, Demarcus Lawrence or Montez? I guess. Sweat. I guess ah. Lawrence is a little better. Yeah, I like last but, like, year. I think I would go Sweat, but right. Lawrence overall has been the better player. He just wasn't healthy last year. With that being said, though, you bring up a very interesting point. And your boy's taking a sound Reddick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean to help you out, but like, this, uh, I, I had to put some respect. I was Reddick. thinking about it, but I was looking at the edge. But it's like, again, dude, it's like, where can you find an advantage? And I don't know if that's it. And so, my question to you is like, who is the best safety in this division? I know. Xavier, <laughs> I, is it, I don't is have it, that answer. Is it Xavier McKinney? Maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Uh, it's not the Eagle safeties. It's not. It's not. That's that's something. Bobby we can agree McCain. On. I am Xavier gonna McKinney. go. I'm gonna go Darius Slay. Oh, very nice pick. I was looking. <sighs> I was looking at big play Slay. Yeah. All right. Well, well, you know what? I'm not a huge fan of him, but we got to take Trevon, right? Yeah. I, if you stack up on, but if you stack up on those two names. Yeah. That's t- that's tough. I feel like I need to go edge here. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Montez Sweat. Wow, he made the decision. Yeah, where he leans. You know what? I'm going to take C.D. Lamb. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm going to take A.J. Brown. I have to. Oh. <laughs> I was waiting for the first right. domino to fall, and I, I was honestly well, thinking about taking C.D. as well. I'm going to take Fair Terry, enough. Terry. Fair enough, man. Who who can get the ah. edge? Fair enough. All right, this one. Do you want Jalen Rager? <laughs> Hell no. I'm just, I'm a, you know, it's a I know, question. I know, but nah. Nah. Um, I'm going to go. See, but I, I'm almost like, is that. I want to see where an it advantage? goes. I know where I'm going. Advantage. I know where I'm going. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Dallas Goddard. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> it's my guy, man. And I and once you said you know, I I felt I, I was feeling you there. You knew I, where I, I was. Oh. You know what? I want to go. Uh, Demarcus Lawrence here. Fair enough. All right. So, who do we got left linebacker wise? Um, well, you have Van Der Esch, you have Anthony Barr, you have Kayvon Thibodeau, you have obviously Kazir White, but Kazir White's not that level. I'm going to take Kayvon Thibodeau. As his other backer. He looks fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm just typing Thib. That's where I'm going. You know what? I'm, you no, know, I'll leave that. Uh, safety, safety, safety. I'll go Xavier McKinney. Yeah, man. That's exactly where I was going to go next. Okay. Let me go Bobby McCain. Get me a safety in there. 
a bad decision. Who's the I, best back in the division? <laughs> it's Zeke, but I'm not going to go there yet. I think that's <laughs> – because I think that's pretty – even though I think he's the best, I think that's pretty even. Yeah, I know what you mean. There's some people that would favor look. Saquon, I, uh, I feel like. There's a but. lot of good. Hmm. I'm going to go Jonathan Allen. That's a good one. If correctly today, that'd be really cool. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Dexter Lawrence, defensive nice tackle. Pick, nice pick. And you know what? I wanna. Actually, I mean, would you say I'm sorry? I... Dexter Lawrence. Yeah, I know it's weird because Demarcus Lawrence is. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Forgot for a second. Hold on. So you're good there. So safety and corner are the two spots. Yeah, I that know. We're still looking at right. That was the other one I was looking. But I at. think I think I'm okay on waiting <clears throat> for corner because. I look at a Dory Jackson. I look at James Bradbury. I don't like love either over the other one, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like I'm cool with either. Hmm. So a safety Malik Hooker is a big question mark, right? He has to be. Yeah. Like <sighs> Ann Harris, Marcus Epps. <laughs> I don't know. Julian Love. Cameron Curl or Malik Hooker. Well, they already they also have J. Ron Curse, but this is a tough pick, man. I'm I'm going to skip past it by, for now. I I know it's it's something we both need, but at linebacker, I think I want to take Leighton Van Der Esch. Hmm. Fair enough. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna get it out of the way and, and go ahead and grab Malik Hooker. I just I don't know. I I know it's a, it's a really weird pick for me. Not a good there's not good options of safety, honestly. Yeah. There's nothing you know overwhelming. What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna all... call my shot. I was gonna let you. I was gonna defer, but I'll Fair go with James Bradbury. <laughs> That's where I was going. Uh, That's where really? Going next. Yeah. So you think he's better? You, like he, he's better than a Dory Jackson? You think? I would take him over a Dory Jackson. Yeah. yeah. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. Let me check something here. So I'm I'm between a Dory Jackson. And I'm wondering what is up with the commanders' corners. I know. So you got Kendall, Kendall Fuller, Fuller, and then who's the other one? William Jackson. Well, yeah, he was solid before he went to Washington, but mm-hmm. I think he fell off a little bit once he went there. Adoree Jackson had one interception, eight pass deflections. I'm going to go with Kendall Fuller. I'm going to go with the wow. experience. I take it Dory Jackson and play him at safety. Right. <laughs> no bullshit. That's exactly what I would love to do, man. I want to take my man Fletch. Or even like an Avante Maddox at like safety or something, man. I know, I right? I would take that. Bend um, the rules. Fletcher Cox, though. Nice. I, I do I do still like I got to show some respect, there. right? Yeah, man. I think people... Or a little too down on him. Like yeah. he's he's still a good player. He's just not, you know, he wasn't up to that contract that he was finishing out there. Right. But um okay, so I got my corners, I got my safeties, my linebackers. I need an edge. I need a wide receiver, running back. So I'll take I'll take Zeke. Son of a bitch. <laughs> One little <laughs> advantage, I uh, you know I, I don't know. I forgot about it for half a second. <laughs> I'll just go in here. I'll fill in my man Dalton Schultz. Yeah, not my man, but see, and that's the one. That's the one where you know 
I wonder if some people think that Dalton Schultz is like better than Goddard. I well, don't. Well, think well, he's all, but no, spoiler alert, everybody, he's not. <laughs> spoiler alert. All right, man. I'm gonna fill in here as well. So let me get my wide receiver. Who do I want though? Yeah, it's this part. Is it Devontae? It's gotta be right. It's gotta be Devontae. It's got like Kenny Galladay before last year would yeah, probably be the guy here. But like, yeah. I'm gonna go Devontae, score, man. Dude. Give me, give me the Eagles wide receiving core. And I know who you're taking as your question. You have AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard, and you're going to be taking Jalen Hurts, I think. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, now that you bring it up, the elephant in the room, I mean, do I take Hurts or do I take Wentz? What's Wentz yeah, look like with I'm, those weapons? I'm taking, I'll uh, take one. Barkley, I got you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to think on the Wentz and Hurts thing for a little bit. I'm going to grab an edge here. So we got Leonard Williams. That's not. A bad idea. It's a very nice pick, actually. Josh Sweat. Leonard Williams is better. I, yeah. you know. Overall, yeah. It's coming from an Eagles fan. Josh Sweat, I think, maybe a better pass rusher, but Leonard maybe. Williams is a better yeah. player. Yeah, I'll take Leonard Williams. Josh Sweat just isn't a complete product yet. No. He doesn't play enough. And my final pick, safety. Dude, help me out. Where, where would you go here? I know, I know we're rivals here, but you don't need Yeah, that. I mean, I can like, take a look at least, man. I mean, I'm not taking Ant Harris, right? Now, I know, shout out George, if he's going to watch this, very high on Marcus Epps. Is Marcus Epps even in this conversation? Because I'm not going to lie and pretend to you like I know a lot about Julian Love or right. that I know a lot about Cameron Curl. And then J-Ron Curse. That's the only one I would consider. It's is basically J-Ron it, it, is it is it Curse or, or Epps? Like where do let let's me see, look last here. year? Last I'm looking at his numbers last year. Um he had two picks that's tied for 47th. He had 67 solo tackles, no force fumbles, 10 pass deflections. Okay. Now obviously Marcus Epps that, lacked playing time in the past, but Epps had one pick. Five pass deflections, no force fumbles, 39 solo. Am I looking upside? Am I looking a, mo- a little more proven? That's the question here. Jaron Curse is 28. 26 for Epps. You know what? F it. Okay. I respect it, man. Go with the Eagles. Eh? Yeah, when in doubt, go birds. That's that's yeah. that should be the come motto on. after this. Draft. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the mediocre cowboy safety over the mediocre eagle safety. No way. Right. Hell. There you go. Give me uh give me Trey Sullivan. <laughs> we remember him, man. Oh my goodness. No. Then there's Shannon um, Sullivan too. Right. Shannon Sullivan. We love the Sullivans. Um all right. Then, uh, then, now all I'm gonna say is I won't necessarily disagree with you. I'd probably agree with you if you lean what I'm thinking. But this is getting clipped. It's get, we're clipping it if you go the way I think. Click, 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 click. Drive Give traffic me hurt to the for channel. the chemistry. No. Give me hurt for the chemistry. Oh, but, I, I mean, <laughs> it's tough, he, bro. I mean, I'm not going against he my culture. folded my, like a cheap my culture, tent. But, oh, my goodness. That, it's tough, man. Carson wins Use. on his best day drive, all the way. Just drive the clicks to DSM, bro. Scott headline headline Scotty takes Wentz over Hertz. Oh, could you imagine? I might, you know what? For people that aren't seeing this, well, they're not even seeing this yet. I might just put that as the title regardless. They don't even know it's it's not even true. It's not even true. Scotty takes Wentz because you know Scotty why contemplated. Yeah, because you know why? You thought about it. You thought about I it. And I did. I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you. So did I. There was a time, there was a time where Throughout this show, where I would have picked Wentz over Hertz if I made the pick at that time. Yeah. So, so <laughs> I'm just messing around. But this <laughs> is our NFC East All Division draft. Very even, I'd say. This is this one's going to be really tough to, best of the to best, throw out man. there on social media. And actually, we'll probably get that out there later tonight or tomorrow. Uh, we'll start with this one and backtrack towards the others, yeah. but. You look at quarterback, I'd give myself the edge in terms of quarterback. What's more proven, what's not so far? Barkley and Zeke. I think Zeke's the better running back. Saquon's still a freak athlete if he's if healthy. Barkley so we'll is see. healthy, it's even. 
I'm I'm going to go ahead and I want to give myself the edge in wide receiver. Yeah, Terry McLaurin, Love AJ and Devon. Hurt. Like they're they're the birds. They're the birds wide receiver room. But <laughs> CD CD and Scary Terry is a better duo. Yeah, I agree. You got the edge with Goddard. Defensive line. I, I don't even know. We'll, we'll chalk that up as a. As yeah, a I don't know. Cancellation. Man. Both are both are great. Is your linebacker. Edge? Your edges, I would give the nod to, but I think I would give the nod to my defensive tackles. Yeah, but not even that. I don't like, know, you're, though. You're, you, Montez Sweat and Leonard Williams, are, it's not like it's like, oh. I know. Who, I know. who cares? Um, corners, I don't I don't know. I think my CB2 is better than your CB2, but yeah. I would take your CB1 over mine. Safety. Safeties, I have no idea. <laughs> and, and linebackers. <laughs> Linebackers, I think by default we have to give you the edge because Mika might Mika, but might, is he a real linebacker at the same time? You know what I mean? Well, is Hassan Reddick a real linebacker? I know. Like they're yeah, both, they're both listed at that spot, and more, then more or less edges. Yeah, Van Der Esch and Th- and Thibodeau, who's unproven at this point, highly touted, obviously fifth pick for the Giants, yeah. but two very good teams. <clears throat> uh, who well, could well, I have gone over Thibodeau? I mean, I definitely con- I could have went late in Van Der Esch. For sure. Yeah, but you you could definitely go with the upside. I think who yeah who even else is there within this division in terms of linebackers? What about Kaiser White, man? I know. So we, I, we so I had said Miller. that one for a second, and I just don't. Just not. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy to have him in Philly. I am. But I think that's because he has a very particular skill set yeah. that the Eagles linebacking court needed. Yeah. I don't know if he's an overall better linebacker than. Well, Thibodeau obviously being the rookie, but Kaiser White wasn't the fifth overall draft pick if his draft right. Was, I right. feel that. I feel and and Van Der Esch, up until Mika came, Van Der Esch was the talk of the yeah. he, he was he was Sean Lee's repl- replacement. In Isn't Dallas. it crazy what happened to that linebacking unit? Like Van Der Esch, yeah. Jalen uh, was it Jalen Smith? Yep, yep. He's gone. I was about to call him Jalen Brown. <laughs> so was I. So was I. Um. But at the same time, like, am I undervaluing Kaiser White? Even at, like, I feel like I'm overvaluing him. At the same time, I'm undervaluing him. I know because I, don't know. I like I'm overvaluing what he's going to bring to the table, possibly. And then he gets a pick on the second drive in preseason or the first drive. Pot, I forget. Yeah, they're the and, Jet first drive. Yeah, and it's like let's go. Um, but you know he he might lead the team in tackles. Like it's a very Good. big possibility. He did, he did that he for the talented Chargers defense, you know. He forces turnovers. Yeah. He's athletic. So, like, is he not in the conversation with with Van Der Esch? I don't know. That, that's it's definitely going to be interesting to see. I just <laughs> if you take it name for name, I would say Van yeah. Der Esch holds more weight as a linebacker right now. And I think you know, just as like a kind of a closing point, because this is going to be our last like divisional yep. fantasy draft. Yep. I think that's something that feeds into this, especially when we bring these teams to the public. Excuse me. I was losing my voice there. Um, Whenever you bring these teams to the public, it is a little bit about names, right? Like there's, there's some people that will look at, you know, this thing, they'll, they'll look at Micah Parsons. They'll look at, you know, CD lamb. And they're like, I like that star. Right. Right. That guy is my guy that makes me want this team. Right. So like, I, I don't know. Just looking back on all of these drafts, there's sometimes where you had to draft a guy for his name almost rather than where you would really rank 100%. him amongst his fellow players in that division. A JJ Watt. 100% agree. Like in Arizona. Like, is JJ Watt a top edge in that division? Maybe, maybe not. But, but namesake. Getting drafted for his name. Right. 100%. And you 100%. give me an idea here at the end of this show. So if you guys, when you guys watch this, I would like you to comment on the YouTube channel yeah. and let us know. You mentioned last divisional draft, which it is because the divisional breakdown summer is over. NFC East wrapped it up today. However, sure. all NFL draft? I would wrap be all you, the divisions, it every team, every player. One pick, one pick, one pick, one pick. Same setup. Now, obviously, it's going to be very difficult to very decipher. <laughs> you know who might have an edge, but that's where you get Aaron. Donald our philosophy, like right? Like our <laughs> philosophy probably comes into play where you know if you can find an edge over yeah. someone else, yeah. right? Like for instance, tight end Travis Kelsey. Right. I know there's people high on Mark Andrews. I know there's George Kittle's of the world. I know there's Darren Waller, Kyle Pitts. I get all that. It's Travis Kelsey for me. Yeah. 
drop down yeah. the rest of the guys. So I feel like just in those type yeah. of examples. And I think that's when you're really going to get to see the pristine of the pristine, right? Yeah, like versus yeah. each other, like a, a like a TJ Watt versus Miles Garrett. I know we did that in division for that division, but just an example of right. two edge rushers that are just top of their class and separated from everybody else. There's going to be several of those throughout the league and only one of them in certain cases and that's where it's going to be interesting to see and, and I agree. see how it plays out. And I'm glad you bring that up because I honestly think I think it's got to be top top end defense, right? Yeah. Like first because like offensive talent that's a little more that's difficult to decipher. But like you said if, like if wide I go receivers. Out, Right. If I go out, Cooper Cub, I get Devontae Adams. You right. know what I mean? Like right. But if I have Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, Mika Parsons, and Miles Garrett or JJ or TJ Watt. <laughs> Stack I, uh, you're right. You, you got a little bit of an edge here, right? But we'll see. Just an idea. I think it yeah. would be fun. It would probably yeah. take a lot more preparation. For because sure. It's, it's not just looking over four rosters. It's looking, <laughs> going down every list at, at those positions. So it'll be interesting. But guys, thank you so much uh, for whoever's going to watch this video. Guys, remember, if you're new to the channel, continue to help us grow. We would be nothing without viewers and listeners and followers and who wants to tune into each show. But the most important uh, streaming source we are on is our YouTube channel. So do me a favor, head on over to DSM Media on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, like the video, share it out, whatever you got to do. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. It's content almost every single day of the week and getting into football season, getting into NBA season when it comes back, we will be in full swing, possibly seven day a week content, multiple yeah. shows throughout the day. Um, so check us out on YouTube, as I said, at DSM Media on Twitter at DSM underscore media for myself, for Scotty, and for DSM Media. Have a great night, everybody. Peace.